welcome to Practice Strokes. And today I'm going to do um, a goldfish and show you how fun. I've done all kinds of goldfish. They're really fun to paint in a fountain. People have painted them literally inside sinks and different locations. So it's really fun. Let me show you how quick it is uh, to build um, goldfish and make it really pretty. So this is all multi-surface paint. I'm using an art board here just to show you. And I was going to do it on the white paper. You can see I drew it up there, but I want you to see the white. And so this is really pretty on glassware because you can see through it. It looks really beautiful. Multi-surface paint and it's got a sealer. So it can go glass, metal, ceramic. And I've got wicker white, daffodil yellow, pure orange, and a floating medium. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a pencil and I'm going to make him big so you can see him well, but I am going to see if you can see this. I'm going to make it a little bit larger than the real life one that I would paint. Okay, so I'm going to come down, come around. Have a little bit here, a little bit of a cheek kind of area here. I'm going to have fins. The fins make a, I don't know if you can even see that. There we go. The fins I like to do are in a couple different places. You have them coming from right here and down. And then I, there's some little ones from back here and they're on both sides. And then, um, so one's gonna be on this side of the body and these are the back ones, okay? And then what's beautiful about the, the him is his tail, and I'm not gonna draw it really, I'm just gonna show you that this turns out really pretty. All right, so I'm going to use my 12 flat because I'm making him bigger. And I'm going to get some medium on here and let's pick up the orange first. Okay. Now I'm gonna pick up orange and white and I'm gonna do the fins first and the tail last. All right, so what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna come up here. Slide, it's a little bit too much medium. So slide. Now I've got to have, look at this. I'm going to get strong white. All right. Come down. Down. Right to the body. All right, so this is the fin. Down and up, down and up. Okay, so that's the top of the fish. And then I'm gonna do these back guys. So I'm gonna dip the orange, come back to pure orange come back to the wicker white and I'm going to come back this right here is from the behind all right so we're here and we're going to ruffle and then we come back now this is behind his body and here's the little guy back here I'm going to keep coming here and stroking the white side stroking. I like it to go like this and it flattens out the paint so you have more area to pick up. All right. So this is the small fin in the back. Now the big fancy tail we're going to put on at the end because it lays on top of the body. All right. Now I'm going to pick up more pure orange. And the first thing I want to do is come right around here and go right. See how I'm flat with the brush and I do a little bit of his um, nose area. 
I don't know if fishes have noses, but up at the top. And then I'm going to come down here. All right, so I'm going to pick up more pure orange because what we need is for this to come all the way around here to where the tail. Okay, so we're just going to fill this in. Because I'm on gray, if you're on glass or something painting this, they turn out really well. And you don't have to have so much paint here. Okay, but see that light? By adding the white, I have that light area. Okay, so I'm going to make a little bit of a cheek. I don't think you can see that. A little bit here. All right, and I'm gonna come down along here. Okay, pick up more orange. And I'm gonna come all the way here. Now I'm making this really big so you can see it into the camera. And there's the tail. Okay. All right, so a couple of things have to happen in this body. All right, one is we're going to pick up the orange and we're going to make some ridges. I'm going to go here, here. Can you see them? Here, here, and here. Just a few ridges along the bottom. All right. And you can come in here with some extra ones, a little bit of fins along there. All right, now, now that I've done this, I could pick up some yellow. A little bit of yellow here, a little bit of yellow across here in the top. And I did have a little bit of yellow in this area. So right along here. And then I'm going to work some little bit of white right along in here. So what this is, is a fin. It's a fin that's in there. So right in here, what happens is that we come right in this area and you're going to, I'm going to ignore that pencil that I put in there. I'm going to come right from here. All right, that's before I add some white to it. And then there's some right down here. So if I work the white, all right, so I'm going to come right here. Not pretty. It starts really starts uh, showing up here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is we're going to come right here. I'm gonna pick up some orange and I'm gonna be on top of here. And then this one's gonna be on top of here. And so that's the front view. So we're gonna come here. All right. So if I come down here, can you see how I'm going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth? And I can get a little bit of yellow. And then I can ripple this even. See how that looks like it's in front? Oops. 
And then I'm gonna do this guy here. And I could put a little bit of yellow in here too. All right, so isn't he fancy? All right, before I, I finish this tail here, I'm gonna come in with a six flat and I'm gonna pick up, I'm gonna get yellow. All right, so I'm getting daffodil yellow on the six and I'm side loading white. All right, so what's going to happen here is I'm going to make little curves because this is the fit, um, the size fin with where he breathes. The, the, um, forget what they're called, sorry. <laughs> all right, so then I'm just going to come all along here with yellow, teeny bits of white. And he has to have scales, all right? So little teeny scales. But if I bring orange in there, that might work better. All right, so I'm gonna start back here. I started in the wrong place. Let me start back here and show you that as I come along here, See how I'm coming along here. All right, and then a little bit on his beak, beak, <laughs> his, his lips here. I'm gonna come here and then I'm gonna come right down this way. All right, a little bit here. And then you're going to come from there and go down. All right, so I do need to get some more white here. So what's going to happen is that this white is going to come right along here on the bottom of the fish there. And I have a little bit of white that will come in here and come in there. There we go. Okay. All right, so one thing that has to happen is I wanna dip white with the handle of the brush and I'm going to go right here and put a dot for his, for his eye. And then we will come back. We'll make it a little bit bigger for this size fish. All right, so we're gonna come back and do more there. But there's a couple of strokes I just wanted you to see. One is we're going to make these little scales, but we make them really small. And then you do the next one in front of that. So you layer it, all right? And then I'm gonna work with you seeing how to do these tail fin, um, this tail fins, all right? So right here, these guys, you're going to slide down, wiggle, in and out, and then slide back. Okay, so you're just gonna keep stroking back to there and that's gonna give you that look, all right? So that looks better than what these are actually looking like. So. so I'm gonna go over this a little bit. All right, so the tail will show up really beautiful because I can get some yellow and orange. Let's see how I'm working. 
sorry, yellow and orange. See how we're working it here. I need somebody to say you're off screen. All right, so I'm gonna slide up here. Wiggle out and down, get more white. All right, so I'm gonna pick up more. See how I'm laying the brush down really good. Now see, I'm sliding down. I pick up more paint and then I slide down, down into the tail. See how it gives you those nice grooves of color. See, I'm coming here and then I slide on the chisel down. So see how fancy that gets. Now what I am seeing here, I need you guys to see, is that we want more white. Okay. Now, this is more detailed than I used to do. So if you see my goldfish, I just made these ruffles. I didn't, I have done some where they're way fancy and real see-through. All right. Any pretty? So let me show you. If I use medium and I get it really thin, and then I come over here really thin and get white. So this is real transparent. So to get it real transparent, we can get some that, I know you probably can't see that, but they're nothing like the solid paint that we have up there. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to get a smaller brush. I hope you liked our little fish today. I do like this at Dollar Tree. It's a stylus, but it's got a really small and a really bigger end. All right, and so um, where did I put my black? All right, I'm going to um, get some licorice. And all we have to do is dot the eye. Oh, uh, and you should let it dry. But what I'm going to do is just grab it fresh, dot it, and we're going to dot the center there. There we go. Now, I do like to put a little glare in that eye so I could take this itty bitty teeny tip and put a dot. And there we go. So I hope you guys liked it. Please let us know what you think and what you'd like to see next. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.